Hannah here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about everything you can imagine about Universal Studios and specifically during their off-season period. I've had two other videos about Universal Studios. If you guys haven't watched it yet, I'll leave the links in the description box below. I put a montage video out and I have put out a food video at Universal Studios. Those are really good videos too, so definitely check those videos out. You're here to know whether or not the off-season time at Universal Studios is worth it. Now, we're gonna have three parts to this video. The living amenities and ticket packaging deal is part one. Part two, we're gonna talk about the rides, the wait times, everything you need to know about that during November. And also, part three is my final thoughts of whether or not Universal Studios is worth it to go during their off-season time. I arrived on Monday check-in and Friday check-out. Um, it is during the second week of November. We stayed at Universal's Endless Summer Resort at Dockside Inn and Suites. Approximately $89 per night, $356 total. Since Dockside Inn and Suites is a part of Universal's resorts, they allowed you to have some perks, which includes early park admission, one hour earlier than scheduled opening time, complimentary bus transportation to the parks and city walk. They come around 10 to 15 minutes. Also, they give you complimentary delivery of merchandise purchased throughout the resort to the hotel. And also, parking is $15 per night, which we stayed for four nights, so it was about $68 total for that. The hotel was very modern, it was very clean. They also had complimentary housekeeping, like a light housekeeping every single day that I was there. Um, also, they had like a Starbucks on the first floor. They also had a food court, a bar, and a pool. The tickets we ordered were two park four day admission, which means for the four days, once you activate it, you can go to both parks in that one day um, or just one park or it's up to you. And it was about $300 per person. So just the tickets and the parking and the um, hotel, it was about $1,100. Um, in total for that we didn't actually go to the park on monday but we did go to city walk to walk around on monday tuesday wednesdays the rides were approximately five to ten minutes average the longest wait time was the harry potter rides for both locations they were about 45 minutes average for those two days so you could probably go to all of the rides in each park in one day so if you spent one day at universal studios you probably will be able to ride all of the rides there in that one day if you were there on a tuesday and a wednesday and same thing with the islands of adventures starting thursday thursday and friday their wait times started to be longer and they were approximately about 30 to 50 minutes average for most of the rides. Of course, the Harry Potter rides were, again, the outlier, and they were about 130 to 150 minutes for those, for the Harry Potter rides on Thursday and Friday, and that is insane. A lot of people have asked if you go to Universal, how long should you stay for their off-season time? I definitely think three days is probably a good amount of time earlier in the week to get to all the rides that you want to ride, experience everything you wanted to experience food-wise, the atmosphere, everything. I think you should be able to do it in three days. But if you, if you end up going second half of the week, so starting from Thursday into the weekend, I would say you probably need to stay a little bit longer, maybe four to five days, because the wait times are longer. Now, Universal Studios offer a lot more motion 3D rides. For example, like the Transformers, the Minions, Jimmy Fallon, um, Race in New York, the ET rides, those all are motion 3D rides. They're really fun, but 
just know you'll have sudden stop sudden jerk of movement all of that stuff so if you have motion sickness i don't recommend it for islands of adventures they have more roller coasters with a couple motion rides and they have a couple water coaster rides as well the Velocity coaster was definitely one of the best rides i had in both parks hands down my favorite rides for universal studios was definitely the harry potter and the escape from the green gods was a really good ride and also the race in new york with jimmy fallon was really good as well they also have shows in both of the parks my favorite shows would definitely be the animal actors and also the born stuntacular my final thoughts is that with the weather being warm most of the day in november in florida and a little chilly in the morning and the nighttime if you just wear a long sleeve or like a light jacket you probably that would probably be enough for you for the whole day so most of the rides there are motion rides so if you have motion sickness i don't think you'll be able to ride much but you definitely will enjoy the scenery and all the thoughts and architecture to the whole park like you just definitely feel like you're in a whole new world at the universal studios and islands and adventures with me booking a hotel that is supposedly supposed to be their cheaper resort hotel for that price, I definitely think it is worth it. I would definitely book Dockside again. So is it really worth to go to Universal Studios during off-season time? I definitely think it is the right choice. There's less crowds. There's less wait time. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this video made you guys smile if you have any other questions that i didn't answer just let me know in the comments section down below and i'll answer your questions in there if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure you hit the bell notification button so you know when i upload a new video and i upload every monday and friday so definitely check that out but this is my last universal studios video so hopefully you guys enjoyed this series but I will see you guys in the next video.